So first up we have this lovely Homey Class 60. Um, I've re reviewed a couple of these recently, so I won't go into loads of detail, I'll just show it running. But again, really good runner, great detail. Um, I'm a massive fan of the livery. It's very basic, but I really like the colour. Um, I'll pan out a bit so you can see it a bit better. But you'll see this running as well. So this makes up the blue part of my sort of red, white and blue theme that I seem to have accidentally done. So I just thought I'd show this a little bit better. Got some really nice separately fitted details on the front here. The horns. Very crisp livery. And again, you can actually see through, you can see the light through this grill. So if I put my hand behind it, you can see my hand moving. That's like the real class 60s. If you ever get close to them, you can see right through them. So it's really cool that they included that. Um, I'd say the only problem with these is there seems to be this little this little gap here. The paint doesn't completely fill it. If you look at it from certain angles, you can see that it's definitely blue, not grey. But honestly, when it's running on the layout, I wouldn't care at all. Another thing that Hornby needs to sort out is they never fit the flush they never give you the flush sort of air dam or fairing whatever it's called on the front anymore i've been lucky i managed to get some off um tileford so big shout out to him many thanks for being so generous and lending me two of them because i've picked up a couple of 60s that don't come with them anymore which has been really annoying but i'll be fitting that on so yeah you can see this running now and then i'll show you the next loco So here I have a, another new train. This one I got second hand off of Facebook. And it's the Hattons 66. So it's my second Hattons one. Um, I got a very good price for it because this is DCC fitted. So unfortunately you won't see it running just yet because I don't have my DCC layout. But um, this is another train that I'll have running soon. I got a good price because there's a small nick on it. If you just look um, right about uh, here, there's a little white mark. But I do think in the future I'll be able to paint over that, so I'm honestly not fussed. But I do think this is a really, really nice loco. There's amazing sort of like weight to it when you pick it up. Um, great amount of detail. I really like these colour scheme, this colour scheme as well. I know back them don't do it. So I'm very happy to have this one, so hopefully I can show you this running sometime soon. So yeah, this is my second purchase recently. And this makes up the white loco of the red, white and blue theme I've got for this video. Although this does have a bit of red, white and blue on it. This is the last one. It's actually probably the one I'm most excited for. Um, simply because it's very rare that something gets announced that's already available. Because usually um, something gets announced, you have to wait several months for it to come out. But back when just released a video of... Um, saying that this was available to be bought and I bought it straight away. So this is exclusively made, exclusively made for locomotion models. It's one of 300 and it's in the DB red livery, which is something I have wanted for uh, ages, ever since I got the Freightliner one. I realized how great these locos are because they're actually really, really fantastic. They're like easily one of the best in, uh, locos I own the Freightliner one. So I'm hoping this one runs as well, but this is the DB red livery. So I'll get that out for you now. So here we go, um, as you can see, I own number 32 out of the 300 made, so it's something I'll keep, because I guess if if this was um, more expensive than the normal 90s by maybe 20 or 30 pounds, I guess just because it's an exclusive to locomotion, but if Backman ever do a different DB1, I will sell this with the certificate and hope to get more than the new one comes out for so i can effectively get the new one and just basically save a bit of money because um i have no need for two red db ones because i'd hope that they'd bring out some different liveries like the back like the backbone one or the bumblebee or the malcolm rail one to 
if I need to double head. So I don't see the need for two DB red ones. So if they bring out a cheaper one, I will buy it and sell this. So this will be kept. But for now, I own the 30 second one, which is quite nice. But um, if we take a look at this, I don't have the problem that I did before where my Freightliner one, one of the bogeys, just used to dangle and apparently there's a massive issue with them. So it's nice that this has come without that. Um, as you can see, great detail, got sprung buffers, which I'm not really fussed about. The pantograph works um, through a motor, through the DCC chip. Again, I'd almost rather they didn't do that and just knock 20 quid off the price, but it is still, I guess it's a cool feature to have once we do have it. Um, but yeah, much of the same on the other side. They aren't exactly symmetrical. As you can see, we have these sort of like boxes around these, but I don't really know what that is. They're not completely symmetrical, but near enough. But yeah, mine seems to have absolutely no issues in terms of finish or parts missing or bent parts or anything. So that's very good to see. So we'll just test that out running now, but I'm really, really excited for this one. I think the Backman 90s are absolutely brilliant. Something to note is that I will remove one of these couplers and fit the flush um, sort of air dam that goes underneath because it looks a lot smarter. I did it to my Freightliner one if you look at my previous videos and I will be doing it to this one. Um, unless Backman announce another DB one soon that's not the red livery, then I'll probably leave this one as the second loco to go in a double head and do it to the second one. But for now, I'm definitely planning on removing that coupling and just fitting a nice flush air dam so it looks um, more realistic. So this is literally the first lap. As you can see, running really smoothly. So as you may be able to see, these lights are not very bright, but it's much better like that. They've been modelled um, far more realistically than, say, the Hornby 60, which are quite dazzling. So it's nice that they um, went to the effort of making these look exactly like the real thing. But as you can see, runs really well, straight out of the box. And I'll get this thing DCC chip when I take it home. But yeah, very relieved that it works. Um, I'm sure it'll be a great loco to add to the layout. And running in the other direction, very good. Um, it's making a bit of noise, but a lot of back and seem to make this noise. I'll probably just increase the speed and run it in for a little bit and it'll go. But um, yeah, it seems to be running well. So this is the conclusion of the video the red part of the sort of red white and blue theme I've accidentally made so there we go very happy with this